course, introduce yourself. And, and can you speak on the behalf of who's not here and who's in there and who does what and where you're originally from? Cool. Uh, my name is Brandon Ellis. I play in a band called Rocky Loves Emily. My name is Pete. And I play drums in Rocky Loves Emily. My name's Pete, and I play drums in Rocky Loves Emily. And my name's Brandon. I sing in Rocky Loves Emily. And can you speak on the behalf of your other, uh, well, who's not here? Well, let's just say Andrew is right here. Okay. He plays guitar. He's not here for real, but I'm pretending that he's here. Uh, Wood, is he plays bass. This is his monster. Yeah, this is actually his. Right here is um, Steve. Steve <laughs> plays uh, keyboards, and then sitting right there is Sean. Sean. Okay. He, he plays guitar. Okay, for the people who hasn't heard or discovered your music, can you guys explain the style? Of what kind of style it is? Um. I mean, We're I've really good it, friends, so sometimes we finish each other's sentences. Sentence. I, I ruined that. You really. So we're gonna tag team this. We sound a lot like. Uh, the main. Main. And uh. For to. For today. For today. And and sometimes we like. We don't to, actually sound like for today at all. No, we don't. But they're one of my favorite bands. <laughs> they. That's true. We sound a lot like Lady Gaga. Mixed with a little bit of Kesha. Sure. And then sometimes people refer us to, uh, or refer us, that's where we're going to stop that one. I can't think of what we're saying. <laughs> Petra. Yeah, I was going to say Diddy. But... P. Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, when did you discover your love for music? Um, well, he discovered his love for music. Um, How well do you know me? <laughs> this is a this is good. This is a test. He discovered his love for music when he was thirteen years old, eleven maybe. His dad took him to a Kiss concert. Nice, dude. You know me so well. He told me this a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, my dad took me to a Kiss concert, and I was like, I want to do that. Except. I didn't end up painting my face. No anything, face paint. But That's good. I wish I could, though. Uh, Brandon discovered his love of music uh, at a Weird Al Yankovic concert. Yep. Uh, I'm his biggest fan. I actually don't know where you. No, I, I discovered my love for music. I don't know. I don't love it like it that much. I'm still discovering. I'm just kidding. No, I like it. I discovered my love for music at a concert when I was like 12. Okay, how long have you guys been together as Rocky Loves Emily? Almost uh, two, two years. So, two years. years. Two years? That long? Seems like forever. Yeah. Time flies. Or doesn't fly? Seems like forever. <laughs> <laughs> What are some of your favorite places you have performed at, and where are some places that you would love to like like to perform at in the future? Uh, one of my favorite places is uh, Seattle. Ooh, yes. Uh, Richmond, Virginia. Um, I would love to go to the UK. That'd be cool. Yeah. Don't go to Canada. <laughs> We're actually going to Canada on this. Yeah, I, I love. Um, <laughs> we just been there like today. Yeah, how was Canada it? Rules. We got lost because our GPS took us to Canada. And then it didn't read. It didn't it take did. us here. It took us to Canada over the bridge, and then we had to go. That was here. you guys. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, you guys are from the Antwerp area. Well, she is. I'm from Indianapolis. Yeah. You guys drove all the way here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. I did. Wow, that's I drove crazy. all the way over here, and then oh I went and picked up her, and then we. With Canada. You guys are awesome. Golf clubs. So, yeah, they're pretty mean cops there. So, just to warn you. Sorry. Uh, okay. okay. Do you write your own music on Rocky Loves Emily? What's that? Did you write your own music? Do you write your own music? 
Yes. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Um, who is someone you would love to perform with or you haven't performed with? Like, you perform with Friday Night Fever. I would personally love to play a show with Lady Gaga. She's my absolute favorite. I'm being dead serious. I would like to play with the Goo Goo Dolls. Oh, I would also like to play with Tom Petty if that was ever possible. Tom Petty. I'd like to see you guys play with Kesha. Ooh. Ooh. That'd be cool. Would, would we be able to wear like the glow in the dark stuff as well? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. That's the only way I'd be able to do that. That would be on our rider. Uh, what is the number one thing you can't live without when you're on the road? This guy. This guy. <laughs> I can't live without him. I have to bring him on every tour. If I don't, I, I wouldn't know what to do. We would be very, uh, we would be very instrumental without me. Think about it. And then without him, we'd be very uh, non-rhythmic. Uh, for real, toothbrush. Um, I think phone. That's phone. A good book. Xbox. I think just a toothbrush, actually. <laughs> and deodorant. And deodorant, yeah. No deodorant. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you have any favorite moments or embarrassing moments, either on stage or being on the road? Oh, we do have an embarrassing moment. Uh, we were in Texas once, and there were train tracks right by this venue. And Steve was driving our van and he accidentally went on the train tracks somehow and popped our tire and we thought we were cool rolling in until that happened and we didn't feel cool when that happened. I think I can up that Pete. I think the most embarrassing moment this band has ever had was driving in Montana. Oh! Yeah, and, tell uh, <clears throat> I'll just keep it short and sweet. I pooped my pants in our van. <laughs> And didn't yeah. admit it for a good like five minutes. Everybody's like, "Man, it stinks in here." And then uh, we pulled over, and I uh, we didn't have like toilet paper, and I had poop in my pants, and so I just <laughs> got naked, threw my underwear into the great wild, and drove off. That was pretty embarrassing for you. It wasn't for me. I thought it was funny. <laughs> what do you think it's funny? Thanks. <laughs> He literally did not admit it for like five minutes. He was just sat there. I think fans need to give you some toilet paper. Yeah, if, if you're uh, if you're listening in at home, like I would love a roll of toilet paper at all times because you never know when when that fart's gonna gonna be more than just a fart, you know. Uh, do you have too any... much? <laughs> too much. <laughs> Do you have anything um, you would, would like to say to your fans and for the people who are watching this interview? We love you so much. Thank you for everything. Like we would not be like doing anything without you. Straight up. What? Can you guys give out your official links? What? Your yeah, official we, links, like MySpace. Uh, MySpace.com/slash Rocky Loves Emily. Twitter is at Rocky Loves Tweet. And then search for us on Facebook. And like us. <coughs> We have a website coming soon to uh, rockyloveemily.net. Net. Net. See, friends. Finishing each other's sentences. And buy our CD. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. And buy our CD at uh, Hot Topic. That's actually not her hand. That's a graphic illustration floating. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was good. Yeah. Okay. Can you go? Okay. Can you just 